let's quickly create some repeating patterns here inside of Illustrator using the transform again command. So I have myself a simple black rectangle just here and grabbing my selection tool, the black arrow tool. If I hold down the alt or the option key, I can quickly drag out a copy of the item there like so. Now notice I still have this guy selected. That's important because now when I go up to object transform, I have this option available to me, transform again. Notice the keyboard shortcut, Command or Control D. So if we press Command or Control D, I get myself a duplicate copy, very nice. And I can actually press that as many times as I like. And if I actually just hold those keys down, you'll actually just create a string of copies for me. So let's try that again with this circle just down here. So again, I select it with my selection tool, holding down Alter Option, I'll drag out a copy, and then Command or Control D as many times as I like. Okay. Very cool. So basically just using uh, a move copy and then um, repeating that as often as we need to using the transform again command. Let's have a look at an example using rotation. So again, I just have a simple black rectangle just here. Now, if I go over to the properties panel just here, there is a rotation option just here. So for example, if I hit this little drop down just here and I change it to say 30 degrees, sure enough, it rotates it. But what we want to do is we actually want to create a copy and rotate that copy. So let me undo that. If I press R on my keyboard, it's the keyboard shortcut for the rotation tool, which is also available inside the tools panel. So note, I have the object selected on the page and I'm just going to double click the rotation tool. When I do that, it actually brings up a rotate dialog box for me just here. Now I am actually going to use 22.5 degrees in just a second, but you can see I can actually dial in any number I like to rotate that to whatever position I like. So let me put that back to 22.5 degrees and you can toggle the preview on and off. If I chose okay at this point, it would just rotate the shape. But as I mentioned a moment ago, we want a copy. So I'll just hit copy. And sure enough, that gives us a copy rotated by 22.5 degrees. So now if I just hold down command or control and press D a bunch of times, there we go. We've given ourselves a great symmetrical repeating shape just using those rotation options. Very nice. Let's look at one last example. And this one involves scale. So the first thing I want to point out just here is inside the properties panel, note there's an option here, scale, strokes, and effects. I have that turned off. I'll turn that on in just a minute, but notice that it is turned off at the moment. Okay, so I'm selecting this guy just here. So I'm thinking I want to create a series of concentric rings. So there's a scale tool here inside of Illustrator. If I press S, or if I uh, simply select it from the tools panel just over here, same as before, I'm selecting the shape and then I'm going to double click on the scale tool. So that brings up a dialog box for the scale tool just here. I can transform this uniformly or non-uniformly. I'll just do a 90% uniform scale. So if I toggle my preview off and on, you can see that it's actually going to shrink it by 90%. Notice I could also change that scale strokes and effects setting from within here if I wish to as well. Again, that's turned off. So instead of choosing OK, we'll choose copy and then Press Command or Control D a bunch of times, and that's the result that we get. So as cool as this is, we do very quickly end up with a big blob of black just in the middle, just because all of these strokes are the same width. So let's try that again, but we'll turn on scale strokes and effects. So if I select this and then double click on the scale tool just here. So the only thing we're going to change this time is making sure that scale strokes and effects is turned on, choose copy, that's the result. And then again, hold down Command or Control D a bunch of times. And that's the result that we get just there. Very nice. So guys, again, that was up under the object menu, transform, transform again, keyboard shortcut, Command or Control D for transforming again. Uh, I hope it gives you some cool ideas of some of the cool patterns you can create using that option. Hope it helps. Catch you later.